Have you seen the news? Mueller got him. Guccifer, the hacker responsible for hacking the DNC. Mueller found him and even connected him to Russia. What a twist! There's only one problem with that. Exclusive lone DNC hacker slipped up and revealed he was a Russian intelligence officer. Guccifer, the lone hacker who took credit for providing WikiLeaks with stolen emails from the Democratic National Committee, was in fact an officer of Russia's military intelligence directorate GRU. The Daily Beast has learned, it's an attribution that resulted from a fleeting but critical slip-up in GRU tradecraft. Right, because GRU is known for making amateur mistakes. Five months later, in January 2017, the CIA, NSA, and FBI accessed with high confidence, well, the NSA was only moderately confident, but we can continue, that Russian military intelligence used the Guccifer persona and DC leaks to release U.S. victim data. But the assessment did not directly call Guccifer a Russian intelligence officer, nor did it provide any evidence for its assertions. Now that's an interesting admission. It says right in black and white, nor did it provide any evidence for its assertions. Now why wouldn't it provide any evidence? Hmm. New research shows Guccifer files were copied locally, not hacked. Disobedient media previously reported that CrowdStrike is the only group that has directly analyzed the DNC servers. Other groups have used the information provided by CrowdStrike to claim the Russians hacked the DNC. However, their evaluation was based solely on information ultimately provided by CrowdStrike. This places the company in the unique position of being the only direct source of evidence that a hack occurred. That's right, nobody but CrowdStrike has seen the servers. No third party investigator, and certainly not the FBI, CIA, or NSA. But there's no reason to worry about that. On one occasion, the Daily Beast has learned, Guccifer failed to activate the VPN client before logging on. As a result, he left a real, Moscow-based internet protocol address in the server logs of an American social media company. Twitter and WordPress were Guccifer's favorite outlets. Neither company would comment for the story. Just this little slip, and we happened to catch him on it and connect him to Gru. How convenient for us. But it really doesn't even matter. Timestamps in Guccifer's first leaks show that they were packaged for release over the course of a single day, beginning just hours after the DNC intrusion and its attribution to Russia were made public. Timestamps, that's interesting. Let's talk about timestamps for a moment. The document states that the files that eventually published as NGP Van by Guccifer were first copied to a system located in the Eastern Time Zone, with this conclusion supported by the observation that the 7-zip files after adjustment to East Coast time fall into the range of file times in the RAR files. This constitutes the first of a number of points of analysis, which suggests that the information eventually published was not obtained by a Russian hacker. There's also some interesting implications regarding the file speed. Importantly, the forensic hater concluded that the chance that the files had been accessed and downloaded remotely over the internet were too small to give this idea any consideration. He explained that he calculated transfer speeds for the initial copy were much faster than can be supported by an internet connection. This is extremely significant and discredits allegations of Russian hacking. The conclusion is further supported by analysis of the overall transfer rate of 23 megabytes. The forensicator described this as possible when copying over a LAN, but too fast to support the hypothetical scenario that the alleged DNC data was initially copied over the internet. So in other words, this rate indicates that the data was downloaded locally. Now the conclusion here is obvious. There was no hack. It was a leak. And it doesn't matter if Guccifer is attached to the Russians or Romanian. He didn't have anything to do with obtaining this information. The Daily Beast even admits this in their final paragraph before the end of the article. Today, the most popular counter-narrative surrounding Guccifer concedes that the account was a fake persona, but posits that it was created by the DNC. In this theory, advanced in two widely cited anonymous blogs, Guccifer was a DNC posing as Russia, posing as a Romanian hacker. And it really doesn't matter which is the case, because he never hacked anything. It's exactly as Kim.com said and is willing to say under oath. Let me assure you, the DNC hack wasn't even a hack. It was an insider with a memory stick. I know this because I know who did it and why. Special Counselor Mueller is not interested in my evidence. My lawyers wrote him twice. He never replied. But the media will ignore this because they can use it as a weapon to further the Russia collusion theory. The DNC is not being honest and the media has been complicit. There's a reason BuzzFeed is suing for evidence to back any of the DNC's claims and they've gotten zero cooperation in the process. There is no evidence and it never happened. CrowdStrike has gone back on their conclusions 
and provided no evidence of their other claims. Guccifer never hacked the DNC, and whether he is Russian or Romanian, he's a distraction. Don't fall for it. We are the Republic's walls. They will have to come and take it.